Hey guys, Fuzz here. Hope you're all well. Thought I'd share you today sort of a routine I've got into now, and that is the cleaning up, dusting off, uh, making good, changing around, all the things that you have to do within a collection. Laugh it up, Fuzzball. <laughs> I want to sort of start off showing you some of the things that I do, some of the things that keep the collection looking as clean and as tidy and as crisp as it can. As you can see here, currently in the mid, in the sort of mid range of actually cleaning all the figures off, which they seem to accumulate dust at a rapid rate. I tend to use sort of just a, like a anti-dust type cloth like this. Um, sometimes a little bit of water to damp on it just to take the dust away. Some of the plastic casing and things I've got into the habit of using. Uh, a cleaning fluid like this which is designed really for things like um, LCD TVs uh, screens like that things which do attract dust but to obviously stop this static to obviously stop the dust actually being attracted to them in the first place so obviously sunlight being one of the biggest enemies to a collector for anything because obviously it fades the color out of things um, as you can see here the sunlight hitting here I guess for the most part the room stays pretty dark and um, the blinds are slightly open today as you can see the sun here but for the most part it's pretty dark and I try to uh, move things around on a regular basis so they're not, um, not in any sunlight, any potential sunlight for any length of time. So I also use star cases for an element of my collection. I mean, I'm sure they keep sunlight and sun damage away and the dust off, but more than that for me, I actually find because they sit here in a rim, if you can see there, they're really good at actually straightening out bent cards. So lots of people ask me about these displays that I use for my original trilogy uh, figures, as you can see here. These are made by a company called Pride Display. They're no longer uh, uh, existing or a trading business. They went out of business some time ago now. But you can readily find these on eBay, probably looking around 30, 40, 50 pounds, I suppose, for these. They're very cool. Obviously, they set the scene for the figures really, really well. And they give you a couple of options in that you can have the backdrop as the X-Wing or the Tatooine landscape. Okay, so a quick update. Lots and lots of dirty rags and dust and crap everywhere. It's, it's amazing how dirty your collection gets, but uh, better to sort of try and look after it and maintain it as you go along than to maybe two or three years' time go for it a massive clean and find out that things have faded or damaged because of that stuff so bear with me we're getting there so as you can see that these ones are, are polished cleaned wiped and, and put back in place Just slightly moved some of them around for effect something else I get asked about regularly are these things here which are the lights so at night time I can actually have like a light display which actually lights the figures up as you can see there this was a simple and a cheap um, option three batteries in the back LED light, just literally hooks on there, out of the way because they're in the recess, on the other side as well, and then from a distance you can see they bounce off the figures really nice. Okay some of the boring stuff now, cleaning the glass cabinet using just a simple glass cleaner, trying to get all the rubbish and crap off. I've repositioned this as well because I sort of repositioned my desk in the room. The black series I've brought down here, I can sort of swap them around. There's figures around behind and behind behind the actual figures themselves. The next shelf is black series figures as well, with the Death Star briefing in front. The next shelf is my Return of the Jedi. The next shelf being Empire Strikes Back. Once again, they go three or four deep, but it allows the card art to be seen from how I was displaying them, where they sort of were sort of all covering each one of them up slightly. The original trilogy have moved up to the top shelf, all in their star cases, missing a few of those, but we hope to get those. A couple of cards which were bent, I've actually placed into some star cases to straighten the cards out. Cleaned up all of these figures, they were all dust collectors, obviously, when they're sort of they're loose figures. And they, you know, they really pop in again, they look really good. Some more figures on this side, and down again, similar thing again on the shelf. And below, we have the 
inside the collection. Once again, cleaned all the star cases. All come up nice and shiny. Also cleaned up the sideshow collectible figures, which really, really accumulate the dust. But you've really got to keep on top of it, otherwise you're going to take the value away from them. Same for the Star Wars shell from the Vintage Collection, 3 or 4 deep. Thirtieth anniversary, they come out really, really well. Pleased with that. The lost cards and more thirtieth anniversary. The vehicles I tried to put together, just make out Leia sideshow over the back there. But I think they go really well together. The vehicles, so there's two shelves of those. And done something which I've never done before. I took the outer packaging off of these. Not, not ripped it open or nothing, so sort of carefully took them out and that's allowed me to display these in a much more effective way. By parking the BMF down here for a while, it's allowed me to interchange and naturally swap out. So I've got my Comic Con Jabber out, which hasn't really been on display very much since I've, since I've had him. And the display cabinet of sort of the older, much more vintage retro uh, figures and toys and games and electronic games that's come up really really well as well you can make out there the galaxy invader at the back missile command some Battlestar Galactica figures Astro Wars, Munchman, some Goonies, some of the reaction line down here some of the black car original figures okay so that's what it takes to keep my collection clean and tidy something I'll probably do every three to four months given obviously the time and investment in the collection I think it's very worthwhile as always your thoughts feedback and comment are very much welcomed until the next time take care of yourselves stay lucky cheers now